year long campaign claiming sadbhavna but with two weeks to go before gujarat goes to polls not a single muslim candidate has been fielded by narendra modi and the bjp has so far announced candidates for 177 out of the 182 seats and it seems not even one minority candidate has fit into its poll calculations this despite the bjp top brass and its own minority cell demanding at least five minority candidates the congress has slammed the decision claiming it exposes the bjp's anti-minority face जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी पिछले दिनों से लगातार कहती थी कि सबसे धर्मनिरपेक्ष पार्टी भारतीय जनता पार्टी है लेकिन गुजरात में भाजपा के प्रत्याशियों की सूची जारी होने के बाद किसी भी अल्पसंख्यक को उम्मीदवार न बनाए जाना उनके कथनी और करनी के अंतर को दिखाता है देखिए कोई हिंदू मुस्लिम के नाम पर पार्टी टिकट बांटती नहीं है मैं खुद केंद्रीय चुनाव समिति का सदस्य हूँ गुजरात पर भी जो चुनाव समिति की बैठक हुई उसमें मैं खुद भी मौजूद था और वहां पर यह पैमाना नहीं था कि किस जात किस धर्म के लोगों को टिकट दे रहे हमारे पास जो जीतने वाले उम्मीदवार थे उनको हमने टिकट दिया है भारतीय जनता पार्टी केवल एक दो व्यक्तियों को सामने रखती है दिखावे के लिए लेकिन पूर्ण रूप से शुद्ध रूप से वो मुस्लिम विरोधी है और उनका असली चेहरा आज सामने आ गया किसी भी कैंडिडेट को उन्होंने शामिल नहीं किया फील्ड नहीं किया जो कि मुस्लिम समुदाय से बीजेपी फिगर्स टेन परसेंट ऑफ द वोट बेस इन स्प्रेड थिन द मेजोरिटी वोट राधर माइनॉरिटी वोट इज इन गोइंग टू बॉल्स्टर इट्स विनिंग नंबर द पार्टी इज ऑल्सो वेरी ऑफ नॉट कंसल्टेटिंग वी एच पी एन आर एस एस कार्डर्स बिहाइंड रिबेल केशु भाई पटेल जी पी पी and tickets for candidates like amit shah and others allegedly tainted by the post kotra riots further completing the irony shah finding a constituency of his choice while the party's minority faces have been left out now here's how the minority count this this vyakti ne farzi encounter karwaye जिस व्यक्ति ने बिल्डर से पैसा ऐठा वो भारतीय जनता पार्टी का उम्मीदवार है हियर हाउ द माइनॉरिटी काउंट हेज शेप्ड अप इन गुजरात सो फार द बीजेपी विथ जीरो मुस्लिम कैंडिडेट्स, द कांग्रेस विथ ओनली फोर इट्स द एसपी एलजेपी एंड बीएसपी वो ऑन द अदर हैंड अ बेथिंग ऑन अ कंसोलिडेशन ऑफ द माइनॉरिटी वोट टू मेक अ डेंट इन द हिस्टोरिक टू पार्टी फेस ऑफ We'll go across to Atish Shrivastava and Atish Modi's critics coming out and claiming that Narendra Modi has been exposed. But obviously, that's a claim that will not bother Narendra Modi because he has his eyes set on Gujarat and he has his strategy chalked out clearly. Well, as far as Modi is concerned, he definitely will not be bogged down with this controversy because he is of the view that Muslim, if at all there is any good candidate, if winability is there, then he will give them the ticket. And he has done the survey on each and every seat. He has been traveling to each and every seat, and he is the one who has chosen every candidate. And the choice has only been because of the winning probability, and that is what the BJP is saying. Irrespective of the caste, irrespective of the religion, we do give the tribute tickets because the candidate is the one who can give stiff competition to the competitor. That is what BJP has been saying. But yes, it comes across a bad image of the party that you cannot even find one. candidate from the minority community means that still the minority community does not really feel safe there and does not really want to vote for narendra modi and that is if even if they float a candidate from that community may not be able to get votes of that community and modi to accept. right after stay with us so we also got mukul sena activist come lawyer who actually works with victims of the 2002 post kotra riots joining us on the phone line and narendra modi clearly stand exposed today oh yes uh, i think uh, his uh, effort last year to profile himself as a great friend of the minority is uh, really fully uh, i think exposed today when uh, we find not a single minority candidate on behalf of bjp uh this was bound to happen we have been telling uh, the people here that this was essentially a pretension and i think uh, we have indicated right uh, mr sinha but uh, there was also a question of you know situation was arising in gujarat 
where it seemed that a lot of Muslims, at least the upper class Muslims, had actually fallen into the hype of Narendra Modi and were probably going to vote for him this time around. But this obviously has sent out a clear message that uh, minorities, at least in Gujarat, have no place, at least as far as Narendra Modi is concerned. I think that's also part of a big propaganda like this propaganda regarding his development. Uh, I don't believe, because we are uh, working with the grassroots, I don't think so there is any uh, uh, move towards uh, BJP from the Muslim side. Of course, there is bound to be even before, uh, uh, even during the uh, 2007, he did, did get about 2 to 3 percent of the vote and right, I'm Mr. sure Sina. he is going to get that much. Right, Mr. Sina, say with us, we also got Javed Akhtar joining us on the phone line. And Mr. Akhtar, what was your first reaction when you found out that most of the candidates for seats in Gujarat polls have been announced by the BJP and there's not a single Muslim name in that list? No, I don't give much importance because uh, if uh, memory helps me, last time they had seven or eight uh, Muslim candidates, so uh, you have to with uh, whatever what happening and the kind of a system they had. So, uh, you know, these tokenism and symbolism is not important. Whether there are, first of all, we should not look towards the candidates or MPs uh, the, in the light of uh, their religion, caste or creed, whatever. Uh, but uh, even when you become, say, community and uh, caste kind, then ultimately you have to see that what is the <coughs> general best of a system, what is the policy of a party or a particular administration. If that is good, it is not important whether every community and every caste is represented or not. And if it's something is intrinsically wrong with the system, then how does it matter whether there are six or seven so what you're suggesting is there's something intrinsically wrong in the system that Narendra Modi has put in Gujarat and uh, this was to be expected. What did you say? I, I missed you. Uh, what I'm saying is that what you're suggesting is that there's something intrinsically wrong in the system that Narendra Modi has actually put together in Gujarat and you were expecting a move like this. No, no, not at all. Not at all. You have totally misunderstood me. I am saying that if the system is right, it is much important whether every community and every caste is physically represented or not. If the system is wrong, it is not important whether every community is uh, and caste is represented or not. As a matter of fact, it's non-issue. The fact is, we have to see what is the general policy of an administration. What is the attitude of uh, a government? What is the mindset of the leader of that uh, administration? That is, that is important.